Hi, I'm Justin from Scoop. File sharing services are a must in today's household and workplace. And to be honest with you, sharing content would be a lot less convenient without them. There are, however, those nagging privacy concerns about what these cloud services might end up doing with your data. Thankfully, Mikrotik is on top of this. They've developed their Back to Home mobile app, which interfaces seamlessly to RootOS and is ready to use in any up-to-date Mikrotik router. Back to Home provides a secure VPN connection to your network, but the latest release also offers you your very own file sharing service. We're going to show you what this is all about and how you can get it working. Firstly, let's make sure our Mikrotik router is running Router OS version 7.19.4 or later. At the time of recording, this is the most up-to-date. You'll also want to download Mikrotik's Back to Home mobile app via the App Store or from Google Play Store if you're on Android. Now, to get the VPN up and running, we've already made a detailed video in 2024 on how to do this and none of that information has changed since. So, if you're still in the dark about the primary function of Back to Home, I'd suggest you watch that video too. Right now, we'll focus on the brand new file sharing feature. On the hardware side, just confirm that your router has a USB port, TF card or NVMe drive. Using Winbox, we'll access our router and go straight to the IP, then Cloud menu. On the right, under configuration, you'll see back to home users and back to home files. Select the back to home files option. In the new window, all the file paths that have been shared will appear here. Click new. In this window, path is the storage location. You can find this by going to files. Our file name is USB1. Since this folder is not a subfolder of another, the path is just USB1. So that's what we'll use in the path section. But you can expand on this file path as you see fit. Expiry is to set a limit for how long the share is available. Now, the reason you might find this important is because access to the shared files can be granted to anybody who has the link. So you might prefer to put a time limit to this access as a precaution. Allow uploads gives users write permissions to the folder. Click OK. You should now see your new entry in the Back to Home Files window. Now we need to add users who can use the VPN as well as access the file shares. Select the Back to Home Users option and click New. Give the user a name. Allow LAN here permits or denies the user access to the local network when connecting via the VPN. In the File Access tab at the top, Use the same file path as before, for us, it's USB 1. Click Apply. Now, the router will automatically create the user and configure the firewall to allow access to the LAN and file path we specified. We can copy the client config from the config tab and paste it into the WireGuard app, or use the Back to Home QR Scan option to scan the code and get VPN and file share access. Oh, you thought there was more? Nope, that's it, you're done. You can now access the network and the shared files from anywhere. But the benefits don't end there though. In the Back to Home app, when connected to the VPN, you can view and edit the Back to Home users and shared files, as well as create new ones as if you were logged onto the router. You can also click on the folder icon to view, download, and upload files to and from the shared folder, as well as add new subdirectories or delete others. Okay, but what if I just want to share the files and not give access to my VPN, you may ask? Not a problem. You can share a link directly to the folder or specific files, which can then be viewed in any browser. The link can be shared however you please. Just know that with this method, Whoever has the link has access to those files. There is no restriction. One last thing. In the Back to Home app, you do not need to be connected to the VPN to access the file shares. It's always available for you. 
Such a simple configuration, but man, does that bring me some relief and comfort knowing my files are accessible to me, secured based on my specification. I hope you find this feature as useful as we do. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you around. I'm Justin from Scoop.